Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Ian Nepomniachi and George Meyer. This game was played in Dortmund, Germany in 2018. Ian Nepomniachi had white pieces and he started with e4. George Meyer played e6, d4, d5, the French defense. Knight to c3, the standard move, d takes on e4. Knight takes on e4, knight to d7, intending knight to f6. Knight to f3, knight on g to f6. Knight takes knight, check, knight takes on f6, white to move. Knight to e5 was played. Bishop to d3 is the most played move. Knight to e5, bishop to d6, bishop to g5, black to move. h6 was played. If bishop takes on e5, then d takes on e5. Queen takes queen check, rook takes queen, knight to d7, bishop to e2. We are following the game between another mayor and Robinson, played in 1909. White went on to win the game. Back to our game. h6, asking a question. Bishop to h4. And George Mayer castled king's side. Bishop to d3. c5, queen to e2. Queen to a5, check. If c takes on d4, then white would probably castle king's side. Queen to a5, check. c3, c takes on d4. Knight to c4, attacking the queen and the bishop on d6. Queen to c5. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Ian Nepomniachi played bishop takes on f6, damaging the pawn structure around the black king. How important is that? Pawn takes bishop on f6. Queen to g4, check. King to h8. C takes on d4, attacking the queen. Queen to b4, check. King to f1. Ian was not planning to cast the king's side anyway. Bishop to c7, placing the bishop on the safe square. If something like e5, attacking white queen, then queen to h4, threatening queen takes pawn on h6. After king to g7, check, and after king to h8, Queen to e3, again the threatening queen takes on h6. After king to g7, white has this very strong move available. And that is... Anyway, what is the best move for white in this position? It is a3 attacking the queen. And queen is supposed to guard the bishop on d6. If she goes somewhere safe, then knight takes on d6. Okay, back to our game. That is why before e5, bishop to c7 was played. Queen to e4, nothing serious, just threatening checkmate on h7. f5, queen to h4, king to g7. If king to h7, then g4. King to g7, g4. f4, keeping the file closed. Rook to g1, bishop to d7, connecting rooks. This is very important moment of the game. What would you do? Would you play g5 or not? Have a good look. Ian Nepomniachi played. Queen to h5. Let's take it back. If g5 immediately, then Black plays h5, and after queen takes on h5, rook to h8. And believe it or not, black is okay. Back to our game. So that is why Ian Nepomniachi, before playing g5, played queen to h5, rook to h8, and now g5. H takes on g5, queen takes on g5, check. King to f8, white to move. How would you continue now? The pawn on h2 is under attack. How to defend the pawn? 
Ian de Fomniarci played the best move, and that is a queen to f6, attacking the rook, and allowing rook takes on h2. What plan Ian had in mind when he played a queen to f6? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause or did you find? Did you find this brilliant move? Rook to g7. The threat is queen takes on f7 checkmate. Black to move. Bishop to e8. Defending the pawn on f7. What else? If, say, rook to h1 check, then king to e2. And white is winning. If queen to e7, defending the pawn with the queen, what then? How would you continue now? Then rook to g8, check, deflecting the king, and after king takes rook, queen takes queen, and white is winning. Back to our game. Bishop to e8, and the pawn on f7 is safe. Maybe. What now? What would you do? Please pause again and find the best move for white. White played a move when black resigned, and the move is this awesome move. Bishop to h7. Black resigned. If rook to h1 check, then king to g2. And after bishop to c6 check, f3. This is just one line. Bishop takes on f3. King takes on f3, rook to h3, king to f2, rook to h2 check, king to g1. And black has no sensible way to continue. What about queen takes on c4, check. Then king to g1. And if rook takes on h7, again rook takes on h7, and white is winning. How to prevent rook to h8, checkmate. That was a brilliant game by Ian Nepomniachi who also won the strong Dortmund chess tournament. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.